Let's solve this really fun Oxford physics problem. The sun moves through an angle subtended by its diameter in about two minutes. Now in a solar eclipse, the moon covers the sun almost completely. Can you work out the ratio between the moon's orbital radius to its mean orbital distance? This is too complicated. How am I even supposed to figure out this ratio from just knowing that this thing takes two minutes to cover its diameter. Ah, excellent question. I get asked this all the time. We always start off by writing something that we're definitely sure of. For instance, here is the sun moon earth system. In two minutes, the sun will move from here to here, subtending an angle theta. This arc length here, we can almost assume to be a straight line and we can use one of my favorite equations from geometry that the arc length is equal to the radius multiplied by theta. Rather than the arc length, I'm just going to say that this is equal to the diameter of the sun, let's call that d1, and this will be equal to the orbital distance of the sun, let's call that r1 times by theta. Exactly the same equation we'll have to apply for the moon, judging by our diagram that we've drawn here. So we can just say that d2 will be equal to r2 multiplied by theta. Remember that it takes approximately two minutes to go from here to here, but one full rotation is 24 hours, so theta should just really be 2, divide that by 24 hours, each of them 60 minutes, and then this here will be a fraction of one full rotation, which is 360 degrees, or let's just call it 2 pi radians. And look at this, now we can directly find the ratio of d2 to r2 in this equation. Just a little trick though, the question is asking us about the ratio of the radius to the orbital distance, so what I'm going to do do is essentially half this angle because this refers to the diameter and I want the radius. In other words, theta over 2 is just equal to that. So the moon's orbital radius d2, let's call it d2 divided by 2 divided by its orbital distance which is r2 is just equal to theta over 2 which is just this expression here which is going to be 2 pi over 24 times 60. Which if we plug into a calculator we're going to get about 0.0044. How do you even know your answer is correct? And because there's no official path solutions it's useful to just double check our answer by, just by googling some values and plugging into Wolfram Alpha and voila we have the correct answer. And what you should check out next is yet another Oxford astrophysics question right behind me and click on this video right over here to fly through this question.